fellow patriots welcome to hope for survival youtube thanks for tuning in if you're new thanks for subscribing if you haven't please do and uh <clears throat> appreciate you returning to support our efforts and follow um our platform uh this video is titled welcome to realville gee charlie brown what are you talking about <clears throat> i do believe the time has arrived that we all need to up our game and um we need to get out of our comfort zones and uh we need to start focusing uh, bigger and better um, we've talked about for the last several years uh, staying left of bang and um, looking at things um, outside the box um, well the time has arrived that you need to start utilizing those skills uh, for your betterment and safety um, I talked about, uh, I believe in book one, um, your individual threat matrix, um, that you need, needed to take the sample form and fill out for your area. I've talked about doing your monthly threat matrix, uh, global, national, and local level. <clears throat> and um, we've taught classes uh, there may be even a class here on YouTube at some time back in the past but designing a stoplight chart green yellow and red uh, to apply to your surrounding area whether you're urban suburban or rural and uh, how you would apply that uh, to your local level and uh, I do believe the time has come to where you need to implement um, your um, threat matrix levels and uh, start paying closer attention to them and apply that to your stoplight chart so um, if day-to-day -day normal would be alpha, your matrix chart would be alpha, bravo, charlie, delta as a sample. And um, again, alpha is day-to-day. -day. Um, I would say right now that you should elevate uh, your local situation to alpha plus or maybe even bravo. And why would I say that? there's so many different circumstances around the nation and information that's coming in from outside the country to those who are transiting to our border that lends credence to um, possibility and capabilities you have threats on your local level from local crime, lack of enforcement of criminals. You have continued um, uh, racial hatred that's continuing. Uh, there's numerous videos day to day of people being attacked um, in parking lots and on the street for no apparent reason whatsoever and beaten. And, uh, You've got hundreds of thousands, if not millions, who are transiting across our border and being delivered all around the United States. And in some of the areas, uh, their funding has run out and they're starting to evict these individuals out onto the street. And they're in a foreign country with no money and um, where they go is the unknown. There's numerous reports of uh, professional thieves bringing 
uh, equipment in that they can use on ATM machines and digital scanners and grocery stores to lift your banking information and rob you blind. Um, and at that point, you may or may not be protected. That's beyond this conversation. And um, carjackings, uh, they're on the increase as well. So um, there's numerous stories out there of uh, squatters taking over people's residences in some states uh, it's 18 to 24 months for the system to a victim and the question would be then where does that leave you so what I'm saying to you it is time to reshuffle or refocus your priorities and start paying closer attention to what's real and uh, <clears throat> stop worrying so much about what's going on in the wars and what's going on in the Middle East and going on with Israel and what's going on with COVID and you need to focus on you, your family, and your surroundings. Okay, so let's start with the ATMs. Some of you may or may not use uh, debit cards uh, for banking. Uh, it's a proven fact that of all plastic, um, the debit card is the one that's the easiest to be compromised. Um, so if, you're, if your lifestyle is using a debit card or using a plastic credit card, uh, if you're capable of doing so, uh, I would encourage you to consider going inside of your banking institution and making cash withdrawals and when you're out about making purchases then you need to use cash now <clears throat> that can be debated by well if you're carrying cash and you get mugged or robbed you're out of your money that is true so you could be out of your money because your cards compromised or you could be out of your money because um, you put yourself in a uh, compromising situation and got robbed possibly in a parking lot and so forth so you're gonna have to uh, toughen up and wise up and decide what is best for you you just need to be aware and on the lookout that there are professionals out there with high-tech equipment who are uh, in the country and on their way to the country uh, that being the United States <clears throat> to rob you blind okay and then that creates again your whole headache of trying to recover some if any of what has been stolen from you driving okay we've talked about driving we've talked about using multiple routes we've talked about doing route surveys we've talked about how and where to park in parking lots what to look for what not to do walking to to and from your vehicle having your key fob with your alarm on your car available having a whistle whatever you need um, in the event that you are compromised transiting to and from your vehicle um, you need to be wise about that uh, pay attention when you're in stores as to uh, if you're being followed, if there's someone hanging out just beyond the checkout aisles who is watching to see if maybe you are compromisable, alone, uh, and e easy prey. Okay? So, depending what state you live in, um, what you choose in lethal versus non-lethal uh, protection, um, that's, that's your decision. Um, you may you may have lethal protection but based on how the event unfolds you may not even be able to get to it so uh, you need to have multiple plans in place um, when you're out and about um, I talk about this a bit in my book the mindset it's book two uh, so much of this is preparing psychologically um, 
and just uh, being smart about what you do and the things that you do. Um, when driving, you need to be aware of choke points on the routes that uh, the roads aren't blocked or if you go into town, you're compromised at a traffic uh, light or a stop sign. If someone approaches the driver's side, make sure your doors are locked and uh, don't roll down your window because the person on the left may simply be a distraction so that someone can come on the passenger side and jump in your car. Um, when I think about these things, I often think about something as simple as you opening the door to let your, your fluffy out to go to potty and you stand at the door and Fluffy's in the yard taking care of business and you hear all these birds squawking and you take your eyes off of Fluffy and you are looking into your trees and you hear all these birds squawking back and forth, right? And they may be inside the trees. Uh, you hear the leaves, the, the wings smacking against the leaves and the next thing you know, a hawk comes out of nowhere and grabs Fluffy and flies away with him. This applies to your life as well, okay? And that's taking your eyes off of what's important or what's a priority and having your mind elsewhere and focusing on things that really don't matter at that current time, all right? So only you can do that. Um, it's totally, it's in your court. Um, property. You, you need to be aware uh, of your property. You need to probably every couple days or once a week, you need to transit around the perimeter of your property, walk it, depending on the size, take a cart, whatever. Make sure your fences are not cut. Look for any debris, look for anything maybe that has uh, caught on to your fencing, or if you have barbed wire, maybe cloth that has ripped. Something that, something that wasn't there before uh, and doesn't belong there, okay? You need to keep an eye out on your property. You need to keep an eye out on your resources. If you have a barn or outbuildings, um, keep an eye out on these things. Uh, to see if anything has been messed with, if there's anything being stolen. And you also need to make sure that no one is taking refuge uh, in your outbuildings or areas you don't normally, maybe during the week, transit and check on. People may simply be looking for a dry, warm place to shelter. You need to know who is on your property, okay? Um, also, around your home, um, <clears throat> uh, make sure around your home is clear. You can see if there's foot, footsteps, anything like that around your home. Make sure your windows are locked and uh, things of that nature. Okay. Um, we can talk about all kind of things that you can use outside to deter uh, or provide uh, some degree of detection to let you know when people or people are around your home, um, that would be a separate video uh, because of the time it would take. But um, going from day to day green that um, that we've all been living in, we've been talking about these things and possibilities and what we would do in these events. Um, but we've been living under the green light of the traffic light and uh, we now need to go to a very soft yellow it's not a hard yellow yet it's simply saying caution um, you need to be alert and tuned with what's happening around you okay uh, notice when you're out and about uh, in your neighborhoods um, set up if you haven't already this is part of the importance of community of neighbors talking to neighbors, who's going to be out of town. If you know a home, if someone's out of town, you need to know if they have timers on their lights. So if their lights are going in and off, or on and off, um, 
versus if the house should be dark and there's lights on inside that someone's not taking refuge uh, in their home. Um, in your garages, make sure your garage door is down, make sure your vehicles are locked. Basic security is what I'm talking about. All right, it's protecting what's yours and what you have as well as your community um, around you. Advise people to do the same, okay? You may be in an area where absolutely nothing changes and nothing happens, or you may be in an area where you start having an influx, all right? And this is why it's important to have a relationship with your local sheriff or a relationship with the local barber or the local uh, eatery, somewhere that you can go hang out and get information to news in your community, okay? Um, Typically, when a few um, start showing up in a community, more are gonna follow, okay? And everything may be fine in your community, but 10, 15 streets over, there may have been an incident where um, some individuals who are not from the area show up and start causing problems. You need to be aware of these things so you can uh, start implementing even further security measures. Um, again, plans. This is why having a security plan and security in depth to stretch your security minds further away from your property. Um, but that's on you. You've had uh, ample time to build these things. Uh, we've been talking about it for several years and uh, guess what uh, the time is quickly approaching that you're going to need these things okay uh, I'm not telling you this to scare you because honestly uh, if you've been paying attention the last several years all the building blocks that you need to do these steps uh, you have been provided Right. And if you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go on the Hope for Survival website and you can go back through all the newsletters and um, you can go through the YouTube videos. There's probably 165 videos now. You can go through these uh, and pick out things that I've talked about. There's some that are classes uh, talking about security in depth and things of that nature. Um, that will that should help you out okay um, realville is here uh, you want to be um, proactive versus reactive because if you're reactive um, it's probably going to be too late for you I hate to tell you that but uh, it's it's uh, truthfully you don't have any excuses um, if you've been paying attention. Uh, if you're paying attention to things that are going on around you, uh, you've got podcasters attacking podcasters, you've got listeners attacking podcasters, you've got people who are like-minded who are going after one another. You're seeing, you're seeing stress. The stress levels are building and it's starting to show and it's starting to impact people and the more and more truth that comes out um, you're going to continue seeing this okay um, pick pick your priorities okay pick your priorities uh, you want to make sure that fluffy doesn't get devoured by the hawk and ignore those birds that are squabbling in your trees because so much of what's going on around us is squabble. And uh, I'll leave it at that. So um, I just wanted to tell you, you, you personally, you need to get in Realville and uh, um, you need to put your effort and focus where it counts uh, the most because it's on your back. And uh, 
I'll rest I'll rest it at that and um, just as a last note does anyone else find it interesting that in the movie leaving the world behind a couple weeks ago it started off with a ship losing power and crashing into the shore Didn't we just have that occur uh, on the eastern seaboard in the harbor in Baltimore? Uh, a ship losing power and hitting a pillar. Uh, just saying. So, hey, stay focused. Make it count. Okay? Um, pray that you all stay safe and that none of this will have to apply to you. You just, you just need to be smart. Okay, and uh, you need to be on your A game. All right, I just wanted to stop by and tell you that uh, you would be wise to come off your green light and go to a soft yellow, or on the threat matrix, uh, go to an A plus, uh, or possibly a soft B, uh, because the multiple threats around us are increasing in numbers and uh, there's no indicators of anything that is going to stop or change them all right so um, if you like this video please hit like if you have any comments feel free to leave them below and again if you have not subscribed please subscribe uh, welcome to the new subscribers by the way and uh, share with anyone that you think this may help. Um, you need to do your best. Uh, there's still naysayers out there. You need to do your best um, to try to point people in the right, right direction. You may not be able to educate them, but maybe if you put the information before them, uh, they'll start seeing it on their own. Okay, so uh, as always, be blessed. Um, Keep your head on a swivel. Take care. And uh, thanks for all your support. And uh, most of all, don't forget to give thanks. We are blessed. Bravo Echo out.